through our recently uh, announced support for .NET standard libraries. You want to read tons of documentation on what the .NET standard libraries are, how you'd want to consume them, when you'd want to use them. For library creators, it's very nifty because we can create one assembly that can be consumed by any platforms that implement the .NET standard. Uh, and I've created, I've gone in, I've created a portable class library. When you go into properties of it, there's actually a way to convert a portable class library to a .NET standard portable class library. So again, you're not creating a class library, but you're creating a portable class library, which happens to be a .NET standard library with a specific version. We can see in the references that there's actually a .NET standard library. It's kind of a reference assembly, and there's still a project.json, which is just kind of telling it what it can be consumed in. The .NET standard library is currently 1.6.0, and then this frameworks is what informs NuGet or other projects what it can be consumed by. And what I mean by that is specifically the .NET version standard. There's seven versions currently from 1.0 to 1.6. And think of it like this, 1.6 implements the most APIs in any of, the, in any of uh, .NET, in which Xamarin is a 1.6 uh, implementer, same as ASP.NET Core. Uh, and it can consume 1.6 and below, so all the way down to 1.0. If you create a library that is a 1.0 .NET standard library, kind of like a profile, you can consume other 1.0s, but you could not consume a 1.6. So you can consume yourself or anything below, but never above. So for instance, here I have 1.4 selected. I could go into my class here and uh, we'll see I have like file stream, I have system IO, I could come in and write a bunch of code. What I can do now is go to my Android project, hit add reference. I can come over here, add my awesome shared library add it and then I could go ahead and start accessing that code right from my Android application and that's pretty nifty uh, that you can just do that there so if you're using shared projects that's really great because you could essentially come in and consume anything from Xamarin Android applications or iOS or Mac so you could say manage NuGet packages and let's say I wanted to install uh, entity entity framework core uh, when I look for Entity Framework Core, here it is. It actually implements .NET Standard 1.3, which means that it can be consumed by a Xamarin application. So I'll go ahead and install it. And this will go out. It'll install everything out there that needs to be brought into the ASP or into the Xamarin Android application. And this is going to take some time because it's going to gather tons of dependencies, install everything that it possibly needs to into this application there. Now, of course, I'm not saying you should probably use Entity Framework Core into your application, but you totally could because it supports it as a .NET Core implementer. So here it goes. I have all these libraries that it's going to bring me in, which are also implementers of the .NET standard libraries. It'll go out. It's going to add a bajillion references that it, if it needs to. There it goes. So we have some more libraries coming in, like Collections Immutable, Buffers, and a few other ones coming in. It'll also bring in some standard um, uh, uh, things too. As we can see, uh, it's going to use the core identity or relational anything that it may need from there. So when it's all done, it'll have all the ASP.NET, uh, ASP.NET identity entity framework core stuff installed into this Xamarin Android project. Now I could also install that into my own library here if I wanted to, because this is targeting 1.4. If I had targeted 1.0, I could not consume that there. So maybe you're saying, James, well, what's the next use case for this? It's really cool that I can add all this in here. We can see it's probably wrapping up now. Uh, but what if I want to install this in maybe a, a, a package like Entity Framework Core into my existing applications today? And maybe it's a Xamarin Forms application. So it gets a little bit tricky. So you kind of have to realize how the .NET standard works. Essentially, there's all these different versions numbers that you can see here. So there's .NET Platform Standard and 1.0 to 1.6. And what are the implementers of it here? And you can see that the Mono Xamarin platforms uh, integrate and have support for all the way up to 1.6, just like ASP.NET Core, uh, .NET Core uh, Framework itself, and the Net Framework 463. So they're all there. And they're implementing a subset of whatever the .NET standard is. So just because uh, .NET Framework 4.6.3 has all of .NET Framework 4.6.3, it doesn't mean that, that the standard 1.6 has everything in 4.6.3. If that makes sense, it's a little confusing, but it's kind of a subset that everything supports. So you're gonna see, hey, you know, a good uh, platform here may be the 1.4, because that's gonna add support for UWP. 
uh, which is here. And, and you could target all the way back to 461, for instance. Oh, this thing is done. There we go. So let's get rid of that. So then you could say, okay, well, maybe I want to support WinRT. So that's going to bring you back down to 1.2, right? So here's WinRT 8.1 and phone and Silverlight uh, is all the way back at 1.0. It's a very small implementer. So you say, oh, I want to target 1.8.1. And you can see immediately then, since I'm in 1.2 land, I couldn't integrate that, that package that I just consumed. I could consume other packages like JSON.NET because that targets 1.0, but I could not consume a 1.3 package. So you kind of got to take that into consideration when you're building these projects or looking to consume something out there. So then you're saying, okay, well, what if I have a portable class library? Um, do I have to convert that to a standard library? Like, could I just, you know, have that working on, out of the box? And I could say, uh, sure, why not? You could totally do that. It depends on what you're targeting. So they created a backwards compatibility layer. Essentially, if your application is going to target 1.0 through 1.2, um, those fall into the PCL profile. So here are the supported profiles, 7, 31, 32, 44, 49, 78, 84, 11, 111, 151, 157, and 259. Uh, and that's all the way back to 1.0. So you can see this profile correlates to this here, which means that you could install a .NET standard library 1.0 into this profile. If that makes some sense. You're, you could go there and do that. Um, uh, in the existing projects. But if you're targeting 1.3 and above, then you couldn't. And kind of a lot of projects that I've seen at least target 1.3 or 1.4, because uh, 1.4 will be UWP support, and there's a lot of APIs that you may need uh, out there. So you kind of got to be aware of what's going on there. So let's take a look over in this, uh, in, in this application. So I'm going to go ahead and, and zoom in a little bit here so we can kind of see what it's doing. I have a three projects. Uh, the first one is a portable class library that installed Xamarin Forms. This was out of the box. So here, if I go into properties, it's profile 111. So I can actually see it. Let me zoom out right there. So this one includes uh, Windows Phone 8. It doesn't include Silverlight support 8.1. So it's there. So this is profile 111, which of course correlates to 111 correlates to 1.1. .1, okay. And then you have, uh, I have another blank application where I have installed, where is it? Oh, there it is. Oops. I've installed and I've changed it to include the Silverlight support because Xamarin Forms actually supports profile 259 right there, which is pretty nice right there. So, what does this mean I can do? That's a great question. Well, if I come back here, let me zoom back out. What we could do essentially is attempt to do a few things. So let's say I came into my NuGet package manager on profile 111. And I said, I would really love to do ASP, or I'd love to do entity framework core. Here it is. Again, this is 1.3. So when I go to install, it's going to attempt to try to install, and it is going to give me a big error that says you can't do this because you're trying to do it in profile 111, but we're referencing something that doesn't do that. Of course, 259 would be the same exact scenario because that's a portable class library, 259, right? Uh, so what I've done in this third example is I've created a forms standard portable class library. And what I would want to do in this case is I could come in and I could take a look at the properties. I could say, hey, this is 1.4 Xamarin here, or their .NET standard 1.4. Now, if we remember, Xamarin Forms goes all the way back to 2.5.9. So I could install Xamarin into here. So I could go Xamarin Forms into here. So I'll say 1.0. I'm just going to reload my project. There we go. We can open the project.json and see, hey, it's compiling into 1.6, implementing 1.0. So I could come in and say, hey, manage NuGet packages. I could search for Xamarin Forms and then try to install it. And when we do that, it's going to say essentially it's not compatible with Net Standard 
which is actually extremely interesting because technically it is compatible with 1.0, <laughs> which, which doesn't really make a lot of sense why it can't work inside of there into the portable class library. So here's what my workaround kind of is, is I've created a portable class library with Xamarin forms in it. And then if I wanted to add a net standard library into it, I should be able to come in and say, well, this form standard library, I'm creating this .NET applications core. I can come in and I can say, Hey, add reference. I can say form standard. There we go. So then I can actually add it there. I can add it into a portable class library. This portable class library is a 1.0. So I could add other things. So for instance, here in this standard net, which is 1.0, I could say, I would like json.net. I could add that into here. And we can see that json.net actually implements net standard 1.0. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. Go ahead and accept that. It's going to bring in these runtimes. I'll say, yeah, sure, go for it. And now it'll actually bring it in. So .NET standard portable class libraries can consume stuff that has those libraries in it. But this means that also we can notice, if I zoom in, that my forms application, which is profile 259, can consume the standard library right there. In fact, the standard one could too. So if I come in and I say, hey, I would love to add that in there too, I can go ahead and consume that, right? So I'm creating a .NET standard library. It's not referencing Xamarin Forms, but it's being included in a Xamarin Forms portable class library. So that's kind of the use case that you would want, where if you have a .NET standard library that you want to include in a Xamarin Forms app, like I have here, I've added JSON.NET, I could come in, write more code in there, then that would work. Now notice one thing here. If I come in and I say, I would like to change the properties of this, and let me come over here, and if I change this to, oops, let me get out of here real quick. Oops, there we go. Now, if I change this over to .NET 1.4 and change it, everything that was just added will be okay in this portable .NET standard library because, again, JSON.NET is 1.0, but notice that that .NET standard library is no longer compatible with .NET standard there because this is a 1.1 or 1.2, and this is a 1.0. So if you're creating and looking to consume, you could consume an existing .NET standard library today into another .NET standard library targeting 1.0 or 1.1 or 1.2 based on what you have for your Xamarin form session, sections there, and that's there. Now that's just with portable class libraries. Now, however, which, which is like interesting, but what if you came in and you said, well, I'm not using portable class libraries and I wanted to do file, new project, come into cross-platform and I created a Xamarin Forms shared project. All right, so here's my shared project. Go ahead and consume that and I'll save those out. Now what's interesting about a shared project is that there is no restriction of this portable class library implementation this this thing. So you don't have to wait for Xamarin Forms to have a net standard that could be installed in other net standard libraries there. What you could do today is install a .NET standard library in all of the platforms that support it. So if we wanted to install ASP.NET, or sorry, the ASP.NET um, Entity Framework Core, we want to make sure that we can support 1.3. So here's 1.3. So that's going to remove the capabilities of WinRT applications, but we could install it in a Win, a UWP application. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wait for this project to finish loading right here. All right, so it's created it here, and we can see that we have a Xamarin Forms uh, app.cs right here with all that goodness in it. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of the uh, Windows 8.1 projects. Boom, get rid of those right there. Uh, now what we'll wanna do is go ahead and say, manage NuGet packages. Uh, what we can do is go ahead and I think you have to do one thing for UWP, which is upgrade to 522. I think you have to do that for the tooling or something weird. I don't quite understand the, the UWP platform type stuff, but I'm pretty sure you have to upgrade that to 522 to get the UWP stuff to work. So once we do that, bup, 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 bup. so it's installed, so I can come to browse. I can, of course, do my, I, I like to do the entity entity framework core one, for instance, here it is, because that supports all the different 1.4 or whatever. So here's the entity framework core uh, provider thingy. I'm going to tap on that and then install that into all my applications. And what this is going to do is it's going to do the same thing. It's just going to install into all of it. And since it's 1.3, uh, Android will be uh, 1.6, 1.6, 1.4. So it can consume all those. And then what I can do is I can go over to my app. I'm in shared code and I can just access it and write it. So I'm not restricted by that actual PCL limitation that's out there today because I just want to access those core APIs in that project. Uh, so that's about it. I just want to kind of give a brief overview of uh, how I think that you can try to configure and use some net standard PCLs today, it's, it's kind of an, it's, it's newer, right? So 1.0 was released not too much ago for the .NET Core uh, itself and then standard libraries. So give it some time for a lot more actual projects to be updated. But now that Xamarin projects are supported, not only in Visual Studio, but you can do the same exact thing in Xamarin Studio and consume those packages via NuGet. I think you'll see a lot more um, actual packages support portable class libraries and .NET standard portable class libraries. Until next time, James Montemagno, feel free to follow me online at James Montemagno and my blog, Mott's Codes. Cheers.